Federal Aviation Administration is awarding Harry Reid International Airport nearly $44 million in first round funding made available by the bipartisan infrastructure law. So what does that mean for you? Take a look. The money that we are getting from from the infrastructure bill is what's going to make us for the future. Nearly $44 million coming this first year alone for Harry Reid International Airport. Now LAS leaders are getting ready to submit projects they wish to use the funds on for FAA review in the coming weeks. We're going to upgrade and improve on a lot of our operational type of uh, processes and equipment. Here's what the FAA says the money can be invested in. Runways, taxiways, safety and sustainability projects, terminal improvements, upgrades to airport transit connections, and roadway projects. Clark County's Director of Aviation says her priority, at least in this first funding round, is sustainability after a tough couple years. We are not at the point where full recovery has been experienced by all of us yet, so we have to be a little bit concerned on the big type of infrastructure projects, the capital improvement projects, um, as we are trying to keep our job Nevada Senator Catherine Cortez Masto says the relief will create an environment to grow jobs. But we also realize as part of the airport, you've got concessionaires, businesses, small businesses that need to be kept afloat as well. This music to the ears of airport concessionaires. This is predicated on visitors. So we need, we want, and we desire people coming to this great city, this great state, and through this airport. The grant is the first of five annual rounds of funding Nevada airports will receive. Vasiliadis hopes this will create a safer, sleeker, more functional airport in time for one very special event slated for 2024. We are going to be the, the first experience of Las Vegas for the people who are coming to the Super Bowl, and we, we will be ready for that. Boulder City Municipal Airport will also be awarded cash from the infrastructure law, nearly $2 million in its first round of funding. And speaking of LAS airport upgrades, what's set to happen with those moving walkways near the A and B gates that have been completely shut down for the last two years? Coming up at five o'clock, I'll explain the county's newest plans for those and their advice for the mobily challenged during this holiday travel rush. Reporting live in studio, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.